Hello there, welcome. Today we're looking at how to lose a free game, or as I like to call it, why to bring Arcane Barrier into Viserai. I'm playing Katsu again, and I'm playing not against a standard hybrid or let's say aggro Viserai build. I'm playing against the OTK version. I personally know that list very well, so I also know how the Katsu matchup is played. And it is certainly played with at least one AB, which I kind of forgot. But we'll make it work anyway. Now in the beginning, as always, you want to fill your graveyard with Katsu. So I'm doing exactly that. And I'm also deciding on, on keeping a few good combo pieces here. Maybe we can get a, a bit of a small combo out against Viserai getting his armor early. What Viserai wants to do against us is stack lots of rune shards and then come in with a card called Arc Knight Ascendancy that says uh, dominate and create as much rune shards as you deal damage. This way he can generate lots of value and because we don't have that much armor, um, yeah, we can actually not block this out. And he will buff this Arc Knight Ascendancy with, uh, with, with action cards. And then the, 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 the rune chance he's getting back are, are quite a lot. But you'll see yourself in just a few minutes. For now, we're just putting on pressure. Um, this Viserai list does run quite a lot of two blocks. So I just want to make sure to either get the armor here or get some damage through. What you've seen from the Viserai player in the beginning is already a huge mistake. Bloody, blocking with bloodied oval just because he can is not what you're supposed to do. Overblocking on the be like water, for example, would have been really good for him because of exactly the play that happened. Fortunately for him, we only have red cards in our hand. I actually drew very poorly here, five red cards in a row. But we're making it work, we're making it work. Now he's respecting the breaking scales, which I think is a mistake right now, but I, I'll take the free creepers block on this one. And then I'm also keeping that spinning wheel kick for my next hand. Because as I said, putting on that pressure is, is very important. We are only in turn two and already all three fluster fists. Well, two are in the grave and one is in the pitch zone, but that's really, really unlucky. Yeah, against defensive decks, you need to have multiple good turns in a row. So ending a big turn Arsenaling a power card is exactly what you need, and then you need to draw into a hand similar to this. So we're actually missing a, a good blue card here. And to be honest, I should just... It's hard to say. I decide on cracking Heart and Cross Step, and maybe that's not necessarily wrong, because as I've been saying, we need power turn after power turn, and this way we get to keep the art of war. <clears throat> Our next turn and we're still getting some cards out now don't get fooled from the game state while viserai is eight life points down and will be a few more in just a second and we have the tempo it's still at least equal if not favored for him at the moment because of the the card i was describing Fortunately for me, it seems like the Viserai isn't running a well-optimized list, so that's always nice to see. There's an argument to be made that um, these Viserai lists want to be tagged into Katsu specifically because it's one of the hardest matchups and they, Katsu is also quite popular right now. Okay, are we getting, yeah, we're getting four damage through, very nice. And it does seem like Viserai has some, some stuff he wants to send our way now. If he doesn't block.
And that's exactly what's happening. Sloggism buffs your next attack for 6. And now Arknight Ascendancy is coming in with believe, 9 rune chance. And it's coming in for 11 dominate. And every point of damage that the attack action does will be a rune chance created at the end of it. And this is also the moment I, I realized I did not bring AB. So usually you should just... Okay, the 5 card hand we have is quite good here. We could play 100 wins and then buff it with out of war and follow up from there. The problem is that our 4 card hand is a lot worse. So ideally I just want to use all 4 cards for blocking here. Um, to yeah, not give him as many rune chance as I just did. But as I've been saying, I don't have AB so I'm kind of forced into just taking the damage here which is the worst decision you can make usually in this case i think it, it might just be the right one because without ab sooner or later you'll just lose because at the moment he has 22 rune chance now i'll just die our opponent keeps disrespecting those the break point you usually need to block out against Katsu. Or those those overblocks you should present. Now I decide on keeping that out of war for the next hand. As I've been saying, we need multiple pressure turns. Or one really huge turn, but banishing the bonds of ancestry could like backfire quite a bit so I'll go for the, the safer line here Taking the spinning wheel kick was, was a mistake. I remember now that, of course, the Flusterfist was pitched. So we do have a third one in the deck still. So it's definitely missing one damage there. Now, <coughs> a very interesting thing here that you always have to keep in mind as, as Katsu is how much cards has the opponent put into blocking this combat chain, or this turn rather. And... Viserai has put up quite a bit, not only hand cards, but also armor. So exactly, cracking Mask of the Pouncing Lynx here is extremely good because it's 8 value. Tenacity coming in for 2 normally. We get plus 5 from the 5 blocks Viserai presented and 1 from Art of War. So that's a huge swing. That's also the play you need to go for against Guardians, or especially Victor at the moment. Also the, the Warriors, if we're being honest. Everything that blocks well, Tenacity and Mask of the Pouncing Links is the reason Katsu can still compete in the current meta. Now, unfortunately, that second hand that is supposed to keep up the pressure ain't too good right now. Out of War does help filtering, so we'll see. I decided on taking the go again here, it's just we need to be safe here, we need to present something. And while we would have been fine without the go again, um, going Flusterfist first presents a, a very interesting line. It's hard to counter for our opponent. Though if I knew that the Gust Wave was coming up, I take plus one here 100% of the time. Now, once now he's not even respecting the breaking scales anymore, so we, we obviously take that one. We have Art of War active, so we definitely want that Katsu trigger now. And I should crack the Breeze Rider boots, um, because the game won't go any longer. I instead decide on not cracking them and just going for Descendant Gust Waves instead. If I had cracked them, I can go for Whelming Gust Waves, don't pay anything, they just have go again naturally. And I keep those, that, well, actually that one extra resource for Gadachi and that does actually matter in those late game scenarios.
And once again, I need to remind everyone, even though we are quite a bit of life up now, and will be quite a bit more, the Viserai has, eight, has 13 rune chance actually, and will be coming in with a big attack very soon. I can promise you that. And we don't have any AB still. Yeah, um, in my head, I, I'm thinking all three Fluster Fists are gone, but um, yeah, I forget that there's still one in the deck. So I'll go for just for 100 wins, but that will also do the job. I'm now taking two more cards out of Viserai's hand, so we are at least not getting the Slogism into Arknet Ascendancy again. Very nice. And now something disgusting is happening. Viserai has access to a cult called Heart Cold Runeblood Barrier, the one in just in play right now. And this thingy makes basically makes rune chance be be ward one. So they will just pop instead of our opponent taking damage now. Which, I mean, on one side is okay, because we can clear those and get them away from the 22 a little further. <coughs> on the other hand, he'll just be able to build them right up. So yeah, I just try to present as much damage as possible. Even though that's not a good hand to be played. And then there's just another one coming up. Fortunately for us, we kind of can do a bit of, bit of damage, a bit more damage now. But yeah, we're, we're at, right at a 21 mark, where we just don't want to be. Also, that Scepter of Pain, Viserai's weapon, is just a 1 arcane damage ping for pitch 2. So if we are on 1 and he ever gets to have a 2 pitch card in hand, which is dead as well. And yeah, AB would just immensely help here. This Warmongers also does the trick though, because... If Viserai wants to attack big, he needs to first play this the, the buff action and then the attack action. And in Warmong playing Warmongers, we make him decide on either attacking or or buffing. And therefore this card actually saved us right now. And I decide on keeping that Whelming Gust Wave instead of throwing a Kodachi because I still have a lot of searching strikes on my deck. And whenever I get to draw one of them and keep a blue, that will make for a very strong play. So yeah, sitting a bit more comfortably now. Luckily for us, we, we, were, we really were able to punish this array with that Bormongus. If he had blocked, it would be it would seem very dire for us. Yeah, but he was a bit greedy. And now we can just take that damage. Throw our whole hand back, get rid of his whole hand, and then we need to have something to close the game out in our next turn. Yep, getting those two blocks out of him. No equipment block left, so every Kodachi, <clears throat> or not yet, but soon every Kodachi has to be answered with a card. And yeah, this game was basically lost. Warmongers pulled us back completely. Um, but <laughs> Arcane Barrier could have done the same, if we're being honest here. Um, Katsu runs a lot of blues and we would just have been able to pitch that damage away. And we would have been on a similar life total, I believe. Um, as we are now. With with the Warmongers uh, being played. So yeah. Um, 
Now, once again, only two cards. Should be fine. Yep, and Vizai can't even play any, so... We're just good to send it now. And we, we draw that Surging Strike. We have the Whelming Gust with up in Arsenal. And even a Bonds to follow that up. And the, also the blue pitch to get both Kodachis in, so there's no way Vizarai lives here. And that will be GG. That game is, is even with Arcane Barrier, Vizarai can win those. It's quite volatile, especially if he plays a bit more of a efficient list. But Katz also has his chances here. So yeah, super interesting matchup, and I think it'll be more relevant in the future. The Vizarai deck turns out to be super good at the moment. And but that's it for, for that game. Um, I've played a bit more Katsu over the last day, so if you want to see some of that gameplay, just click on the next video, leave a subscribe, and I'll see you then.